The final special segment we have are altitudes, and they meet at an ortho center. And there's really not that much besides knowing that it creates a 90 degree angle that you do with altitudes until we get into the area of a triangle and also some trigonometry. So this is a segment that joins the vertex to the opposite side, so it's perpendicular to that side. So it has to go from the vertex, and it has to be perpendicular. So it's not going to create a midpoint, because as you can see, this segment on the left would be much smaller than the segment on the right. Now, altitudes, since they have to be drawn perpendicular, they might be inside a triangle, they might actually be a side of the triangle, or they could be outside. So if we look at this acute triangle, if you go from the vertex perpendicular to the opposite side, all those altitudes would stay inside the triangle, like so. And that's just a sketch. This is an acute triangle, so they're inside. In an obtuse triangle, however, if I started to go from perpendicular, I'd have to extend this side a little bit and go perpendicular. So that would mean it's outside, and that's an obtuse triangle. And then in a right triangle, if we go from the vertex to the opposite side, that's one altitude. That's another altitude. And the third altitude can be inside, but in a right triangle, they can be on the triangle. The three altitudes intersect at the orthocenter. So the altitudes of this triangle would be CD, AE, and BF. And the ortho center would be point P. So that's really pretty much all we do with those for now, but when we talk about altitude, that'll be in some future chapters. So to review, this is all the vocabulary we need to remember. So the three perpendicular bisectors the sides of a triangle intersect at the circumcenter. So perpendicular bisectors, circumcenter. The three angle bisectors intersect at the in center. So angle bisectors, in center. The three medians of a triangle intersect at the centroid. And the three altitudes of a triangle intersect at the orthocenter. So these are pairs of segments that you need to remember. And then we can talk about the points as well. What's equidistant from the vertices of the triangle is the circumcenter. That's the special relationship, so that's the circumcenter. And an in-center is equidistant from the sides, and that was done with the angle bisector. So the in-center equidistant from the sides. So what you want to do on this side is, based on the markings, you want to know if you have a circumcenter an in center, a centroid, or an orthocenter. So you have to decide by looking. These are angle bisectors. So the angle bisectors of the triangle meet at what point? Here, these are drawn from the vertex perpendicular to the side. So these would be altitudes as they're drawn. So where do the altitudes intersect? Here we have from the vertex to a midpoint. So these would all be medians. Where do the medians intersect? And in this picture, you notice you have perpendicular and a point. So these would be perpendicular bisectors. Where do they intersect?
So keeping that in mind, finish up and name the centers for problems 1 through 10.